So after I posted a picture last night of me recording videos using my computer, propping it up in my living room, trying to get the perfect video for one of my web pages, I got a few questions from people and I wanted to answer it in a quick video. How was I using my laptop as a teleprompter? So I found a simple website that I'll share with you really quick to show you exactly how it was relatively easy. It worked great. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And the exact website that I use is called qprompter.com. So C-U-E prompter.com. Um, the website is up here in my address bar and I will also post it above or below this video for you to go to. Um, and this is where it brings you. So I simply found the, I just went into my notes app on my phone or on my laptop or onto Google Docs, wherever I typed out what I wanted to say and I pasted it right here. So for example, um, if I wanted to, let me just grab some wording from my email. Okay, this is an email that I was writing and I copied it and then I came over here and I pasted it, right? So I didn't change anything here as far as the um, width or the size. I left everything. I liked the big font that it came with. I did white text on a black background. I left it that way and I hit start it then opens it up in a new menu. So the speed you can adjust here, um, this is speed one, is relatively slow. However, it was actually pretty good um, for the speed of that. And then to start it, I just hit the space bar on my computer and it went and I was able to read it. Uh, personally, I liked the speed three, um, which goes a little bit quicker. Um, or speed two seems to be pretty perfect. So. That's all I used, qprompter.com. Now I will say that, you know, putting the laptop above where my camera is, so I was looking up and then having the camera pointed a little more down towards me, um, made it look like I wasn't looking off to my laptop or looking to the side or something like that to read it. Um, I, the only problem I had is maybe I would read it a little fast and then I was waiting for words to come up on the screen. And that's where I just had to get creative, add maybe an example of what I had just said or add a few more words or another sentence relating to what I was talking about. And the more times I did it, the better I got. And before I knew it, I, I really wasn't reading it anymore. I was more using it to guide me with what I was saying. Um, one trick that I figured out is um, once I got to that point, since I didn't want to appear that I was reading everything, but I wanted it to help me, was the keywords and the bullet points that I wanted to make sure I mentioned, if it's almost like an outline, I just made those words all uppercase. So that I knew the flow of what I was saying and I would, I would focus in on those uppercase, um, those words where every letter was uppercase. And then I could say like, okay, I hit that point. Then is it when I hit that point, I hit that point because once I got comfortable, I really didn't need it. But I just wanted to share that with you guys as you are you know, sharing what you know and giving value and maybe you have something that you want scripted out or you wanna read something off and you don't wanna miss anything. Using that as a teleprompter is great um, and it's free. So let me know if that was helpful down below. If you have any tips and tricks for when you create videos, definitely share those. And I'm excited to talk with you all more about how you're creating content to share your knowledge.